Hello, hello everybody, it's Derek Freeze, and this is the first video on the new workbench. I didn't bother filming putting this top part on, but it's working now. Um, in a later video, I'm going to address this lighting. I hope it's not crazy outrageous on the camera. The camera looks fine, but in real life, it looks absolutely awful. There's a dying fluorescent light kind of off the side and up, and then I have these awful... Christmas lights behind me, these greedy Christmas lights that were here in the garage when I moved in, and these are just dying. So, my apologies for that. Um, I hope it doesn't show up bad on the camera. Um, this video is just to pretty much test how it is going to work with this new workbench, at least in terms of making videos and maybe possibly making videos of me working on stuff. I don't know if this fan is even going to work. I don't think it will. It probably has a blown internal thermal fuse in the blade. It spins free. Uh, let's check the motor. The motor doesn't look too terribly dirty. This is a uh, hard homeless um, box fan. This is an Aerospeed rebadge. The grow on this is almost identical to my childhood Nantucket Breeze with the exception of this logo uh, being there. The Nantucket Breeze would just be blank. It does have this back grill, which this is the only fan, the only aerospeed I've seen with this back grill besides the one they made um, in the late 2000s, early 2010s that had the thermostat. Um, not too sure how the filming is, so I have to kind of get used to this camera setup. Um, hopefully it's not just a bad thermal piece to switch is out of the line. I don't know if that's stock or not. Um, this belongs to the, uh, to the sister of the person that, uh, picks up my scrap metal. I've gotten lots of fans from this person before in the past, so, mostly vintage stuff, but I've gotten some obscure modern fans as well. Uh, majority of the time when she picks these up, I tell her to pass on them, but in recent times I've been needing a lot of parts for these newer box fans, so I told her, hey, I'll take these. Um, so... We'll do a test. Mm -hmm. It's high speed, but high speed. Like, it's moving air, but not as much as it should, so I'm going to guess it's just a bad capacitor. It's kind of hard to tell because I do have the air conditioner going on, and I have another fan running in the background, and the ceiling fans are running. It's really hot in here. just see how how slow it is on low speed. Uh, capacitors in these aero speeds are known to drift over time. Um, I've heard that from other collectors. I've only encountered an aero speed with a drifted capacitor once, uh, at least besides this one. Um, I'll say this one's actually fairly balanced. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised with how good this one here runs. It's not shaking all over the place. bit of a speed difference uh, between both the speeds. I'm going to turn off this air conditioner. I always forget how quiet these are. I think this one has the motor with the startup sound. Yeah, it seems like this one just needs the capacitor replaced. Maybe these Easy Home counterparts run a bit slower. Bearings up a bit stiff. Um, if I can get to my Nantucket Breeze one, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. Yeah, this has the startup sound. These Cam Air Box fans, they have really nice sounding startup sounds. Um, we'll do a current test. Uh, let's see what the allowance is, because I always forget. It's a model 101B. Is it? No, 100B. Okay. The date code is kind of hard to see. Um... 
yeah, all the information is just kind of, it's stamped on there poorly. Maybe there is some sort of information's on the motor. Oh, I found it. The motor is model bx 100 ll Thermally protected. It's a cam air motor. This motor calls for a 7 microfarad capacitor. And its allowance is 0 0.57 de amps. This fan isn't nearly as dirty as I thought. Uh, this fan, um, from what I was told, was used in a window. So, let's see. We'll do the yeah, the amps. It's at one point. I forgot. 0 0.57. So, typical small PFC motor, very efficient. Yeah, it's running within range. Maybe it ha maybe I'm not feeling proper airflow because these other fans are running. Turn this box on. I say it's moving a okay breeze, but I don't know. I've been messing with a lot of vintage box fans recently, so maybe it's just how these perform. These are just perform really bad. Um, I'll have to get my Nantucket breeze to see. Out of curiosity, I'll run this through all the speeds. Uh, 0.48 on medium. And on low at 0 0.45. 48.4 to watts on low. That's a really nice sound of the motor. 54.6 to watts on medium. And on high speed, the wattage is 64.5 uh, the watts. And this has the power factor of 0 0.98, so very good, because PFC motor. Um, I'm going to go get the Nantucket Breeze, and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. Here's both the fans side-by-side. -side. Um, as you can see, the Nantucket Breeze is pretty much identical. The only difference is this one is just blank here. I did draw this logo on because I thought it was lacking. Um that as well as I did also draw on the handle and knob. Um, most of the stuff on the top has worn out. This fan has lots and lots of hours on it. I've cleaned this one a few times. I got this fan back in, I think, 2018 for my middle school. Uh, this is the only fan I ever actually got for my middle school, so it's kind of special to me. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of memories of this fan despite it being a modern fan. I remembered actually them bringing this fan into the classroom and unboxing it and using it in the classroom. So that's how much I remember this. I also remember during the summer of 2016, it was the only year they sold these, um, they had pallets full of these at the Fleet and Farm. I just noticed I'm missing a screw here. Um, but yeah, took this fan camping with me several times. I used it in the window before we remodeled our house because this fan fit perfectly in that window. And I like, the, I like the blue blades this fan has. I'm a sucker for fans with blue blades. I'm pretty sure Lamont can agree with that. He also likes fans with blue blades. So uh, let's get a comparison. Um, I've used this fan a lot. That I know it's somewhat powerful, but it's not as powerful as a Free 7 Free Free. like it's moving a bit more air uh, than the hard homeless. These fans pretty much look identical. Um, one thing 
with the Nantucket Breeze models, the back grille is just a standard aerospeed back grille. You can probably see it through the front grille on the plate set. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera though. I do really like getting this fan out and running it. It's, it brings back a whole lot of memories. And we'll run this one. I'll say they're about the same actually. The hard homeless is a bit um, it's a bit less on power, but it feels totally acceptable. And maybe it does have a capacitor issue. Like from a good 20 feet away I can feel a breeze, but it's not much. I do remember back in middle school these fans did not perform all too well. They kind of Ear output from afar, you could feel it, but it was very faint. Um, we would typically have four of these box fans to a classroom. Um, I knew for I knew for our, the, the classroom that this Nantucket Breeze was in, we had that fan uh, and a Coolmaster box fan, a Room Essential stand fan, and a uh, 12 inch oscillating fan, just a generic. Um, 1980s uh, Kulishin Super Deluxe branded fan. Um, eventually, uh, we, we got rid of the either the Coolmaster or the Aerospeed box fan. I can't remember which one it was. And it was one of those two brands. We got rid of that and I brought in my Lakewood HV18 from 1995 and I used that in the classroom one year. And the following two years, um, it was used in the hallway of the school until I graduated from that school and I brought the fan home with me. And then the following year, I sold it for 100 bucks, which I, I really regret doing. I made good money off the fan because I needed money real bad at the time, but definitely wish I kept it around. Yeah, I say the performance on this one is about the same. We'll push this one off to the side. And then grab this one. Not to mention this one here is a bit dirty. It has a lot of dust on the leading edge of the blade. This one's the... I love the startup sound on that. That's so nostalgic. I'm just going to reposition it a little bit so it's not blowing towards the camera. Yeah, this one definitely feels like it's moving way more air than the other one. I don't have an airflow test or anything but this one I feel a good breeze all the way uh, back here in the garage. I, I think this grill design works better than like a traditional RSV box amp. Like this one here, we'll grab this one also came from the straps. Uh, someone cut the cord on it, so I don't know if the cord cutter got to this before because the person that picks up my scrap metal, she told, she told me she never cuts the cords off of anything. Um, this one has a bit broken here and then there's like a scrunchie and a ball cap in the case but you can see I haven't even messed with this one yet. I was going to say to myself, hey I'll pull the cord off this one and put on the Nantucket Breeze because the original cord, um, when I first got the fan, the internal thermal fuse and the cord was bad and I couldn't pry it out of the cord for some reason to replace it so I cut off the cord and put a new cord on. Originally I had a cord with a uh, lamp switch on it, like one from like a window candle. And then eventually I wanted something a bit more proper, so I put on this cord, which I think came off of a SMC oscillating fan that I had. So it definitely works a bit better. Oops, there goes a the tripod kit. I can see how, uh, Jordan Yu constantly does tripod kicks in his videos like this because they just seem to um, be a big deal. Um, after this fan spins down, I'm actually going to I'll bring the camera up to these. I'll get startup sounds. Here's a look at both of these from the back. You can really see how damaged this fan is. It's been used a lot. We're missing some slats here in the center. Um, I knew back in school during the winter time, uh, this school still had chalkboards and what would happen with the erasers is they, they would get kind of covered up with dust. So 
the way that we cleaned the erasers was slapping them together. But during the winter time, what would happen is it'd be way too cold to go outside because we live in Ohio. And sometimes the teachers didn't want the students to go outside unattended and beat, beat the erasers. And the, normally the teachers didn't want to do it anyway. So it was always up to the students for being like helpful hands and shit in the classroom. So with uh, what we did was um, there was a kind of like a side classroom, which is kind of used as like a spare classroom. If there's like some like a like typically like if the class splits up and there's like two different teachers working that day or something like that. Sometimes uh, it's used for like uh, tutoring. Um, sometimes if a kid's having a meltdown, they'll put them in that room, uh, stuff like that. Um, so it was just kind of a little side room. And it was like a full-size classroom, except the wall was kind of shortened a little bit to make room for the next room over, which is the teacher's lounge. Um, so in that room, uh, we had this fan put in the window, because this was the fan that was used in that classroom. Um, so we, we stuck this in the window, and we would put a trash can underneath it. And we'd beat the erasers, and this fan would suck all the air out. Um, the day I actually brought this home, one of the first things I did was take apart the motor and clean it. So this fan was definitely abused during its service life. So we'll run this. Okay, this one does shake a bit. I don't know what I meant earlier when I said it doesn't shake, because this one does get a bit shaky. I can see it. Good stabilization. Be low speed. sound of these on low speed is kind of a nostalgic sound, I'll say that, because occasionally we'd use one of these fans during the winter to kind of move uh, heat around the classroom too. So thank you very much for watching and keep the breeze.